Okay, hi, hello, welcome to another episode of Play in 10, the weekly show where 10 bucks either grows in cash or goes in the trash. I'm Captain Cardsworth, and today we have a $5 ticket, a $3 ticket, and a $2 ticket for your scratching enjoyment. That's probably not a good phrase to use again, but we're going to go with it this time anyway. Uh, so just a couple of quick shout-outs before we get started. Uh, number one, I want to thank all the fans who've been watching thus far. Um, I realize we're only about a month in, but I can see you guys are actually watching the videos, so I appreciate that. Uh, I appreciate any likes or subscribes or uh, thumbs up, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, use that comment box. Give me some comments, guys. Give me some feedback. I want to talk with you guys. Uh, you know, give me some suggestions on what I can do to improve, what you'd like to see me do. Uh, speaking of improvements, I hope there's a couple of uh, new things you'll notice this week. Uh, for starters, uh, hopefully the audio quality is going to sound better. I went out and I bought a blue Yeti mic instead of this little Samson mic that I've been using. I'll put a picture up of uh, both of them on the screen here. This little mic is the one I've been using uh, since I started doing uh, deck exchanges over Skype with Hardleg over at Hardleg Gaming. And it served me well, but it was time to upgrade, uh, especially because I found the Blue Yeti on sale for 80 bucks instead of the 130 So I went ahead and I snagged that up. It was a one-day sale. The other thing, I've made a camera mount. Um, I'll try and get a picture of that on the screen, too, so that I can shoot the video straight down. Tripods are good, but they don't always pick up, uh, but you can't shoot straight down with them by design. So that's why I went ahead and I built this mount, this rig. Uh, it cost me like five bucks at Home Depot uh, for the supplies I needed, but it lets me shoot my camera straight down at this. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. Um, so in any case, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with the $5 Escape to Margaritaville ticket. I'm not sure how shaky that's going to be on the camera with this new mount, but our numbers are 30, 23, 29, 9, and 1. And we've got a 6, a 30, a 10, a 40, and a 2. So, no winner yet in this first row. I don't really like tickets like this where it's a whole picture in the prize area because you can't actually see where the numbers are. 39, 17, 33, 8, and 37. No winner in that row. 5, 3, 4, 34, and 32. Still not a winner. Uh, do we have another row? We do. 16, 24, 27, 26, and 25. So, no winners in the first ticket, but that is to be expected. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. So we'll chalk that up to another loss, and we'll move on to the next ticket. Our next ticket's going to be a 10 times the money ticket. Simple match your winning number. Reveal any prize shown. Reveal a 5 times symbol. Reveal 5 times the prize. Reveal a 10x. Win 10 times the prize shown. This is a ticket I don't think I've played yet on the show. Future me can uh, put on the screen whether I've actually played this before or not. In any event, I'm going to try and give this a go. 8 and 2. So let's see what we get. 16, 19, 9, 1, 12, 6, 18, 11, 15, and 3. Another not-so-lucky ticket. Uh, you know what? I'm thinking if this keeps happening with like the 2s and the 5s and the $3 tickets, I may just go back to playing $1 tickets, and this may just be the weekly $10 one scratcher, uh, 10 $1 scratcher show. I seem to have better luck on those. If you remember uh, in week 4, I believe it was, I played $10 and $1 tickets, and I won $8 out of that 10 so that's the best result by far. Now this ticket is the five times bingo ticket. Now this one I don't normally like to play because it takes forever to play it. You gotta scratch all these numbers and you gotta match them up in all these cards. But it's a three dollar ticket that I haven't done yet so I figured we'd go ahead and give it a go. Apologies for that uh, thud there. I'm seeing some spikes on my audio. I don't know if that's peaking the mic or not. Still getting the use of it, um, so again, forgive me guys if this sounds bad. Uh, I'm still not sure how close I should sit to my mic. Still getting all those bugs worked out. But I guess let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do on 5 times bingo. 
Our first letter, our first uh, set is G54, which we have here. We have here. We don't have there. We have here. And we have here. So four of our six play areas have it, so that's not terrible. Moving on. And uh, if you guys want to go ahead and just jump forward, I'll put a note in the description at what time I actually match all these things up. Those of you who want to stick around, I'll probably, uh, well, how are you doing today? Let's just talk about you. Uh, it's I-30. So while I'm looking for I-30, comment in the comments and tell me uh, how your day's been. What have you been doing? Do you play Scratchers? What Scratchers do you like to play? Well, that was a fast search. Only one row had an I-30. Uh, before I forget, let's go ahead and just let's scratch the free play area and all these tickets. So I have something to scratch. We got all these free spaces. Not entirely sure what these dollar bags are for. Hold on while I see uh, what the, the dollar bag is for. Oh, the dollar bag is a free spot. If it completes a winning line pattern, win five times the prize. Okay, so that's also... That is also a free spot. So let's scratch that as well. And again, I'm still working out the bugs, so apologies if I'm not cutting this off. One problem with my setup uh, for the scratching is I can't actually see how it looks on the camera because my camera doesn't have a screen that faces me. So there's really no way for me to shoot straight down unless I stand up over the camera and then I think that looks kind of awkward if I'm trying to stand up and scratch. So I'll do my best to try and move the ticket up and down so you guys can see it. Our next letter combo is B1, which we have here. We have here, we have here. And we have N37, which we get there, we get there, we get there, and yeah. So yeah, I'm not too fond of this ticket. I've only won, I think, $3 off of it in the past as we get G59. And that's not on any of these tickets. Good job, G59. Useless. Oh, wait, no, there it is. There's a G59. Okay. So not entirely, use not entirely useless. Uh, the record I've got on tickets is $200 off a single $10 ticket. Don't think I'll ever come close to doing that again, but... Ooh, here's a song that might sound familiar to you. It's called Yakety Sex. It was used as the theme of the Benny Hill Show. What do you know about that? Probably not a lot. It's been a long time to show and did back in 89. And I know nothing of it, because I was two at the time. Let's go ahead and scratch the fast 20 and 25. Okay, so we don't actually win anything on there either. This is a non-winning ticket. Wasted a lot of time on it. I don't like these bingo tickets because of that you know in what could instead of you know being done in like three minutes like I am with these five dollar tickets instead of being done in like 30 seconds like you are with these you spend a lot of time on this and you don't usually get anything out of it so I'll be entering these you know obviously in the points for prizes on the Missouri Lottery website where you get points kind of like rewards points for non-winning tickets and we'll see if it's a winning ticket when I do that but I don't think it is I don't think I missed anything uh, anyway Hope you like this video. Um, I don't know if I have another $3 ticket coming to replace this. We'll have to see when it cut out. If not, if I don't have anything to replace it with, thanks for watching and tune in next week.